rich and famous Some die with the name, some die nameless Give me that nigga in the coupe looking brainless Shout out to the plug cause the rollie looking stainless Lifestyle of the rich and famous Some die with the name, some die nameless Smoke royalty. We're smoking with y'all, man. Hey, welcome to Smoke Sundays, where each and every Sunday we drop content here, there, and every which way. You dig what I'm saying? But we got the OG pack um, live on Get Your Bars Up Media. You dig? Shout out to BA. You feel me, Home Squad? You dig? Um, but we got the old, the OG pack episode three. You know what I'm saying? This is a very special episode. This is the first uh, um, volume. The first volume ever. You did what I'm saying? Um, dare I say the first classic out of the first volume? You know what I'm saying? Um, OG Pack Episode 3 featuring Iron Solomon versus Rum Nitty. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> This was a crazy, crazy, classic battle. It was so crazy. It was so classic that after the battle, Schmack was Schmack was like, he couldn't stop it. He couldn't stop. <laughs> you see his face in the background. You see him. <laughs> he couldn't stop saying he knew this was a crazy battle off the jump. You know what I mean? Um... Shout out to this battle being almost, um, uh, uh, what is it, uh, 34,000 views away from being at a million views. That's crazy. It's at 966,000 views. Um, that is, that is, um, that's amazing to say the least. You do what I'm saying? Um, this one though, this, this trailer, the trailer's in front of these. Mm. The trailers in front of these was different. So they had the Smack blog. I forgot about the Smack blogs. Every once in a while, Smack would come on, you know what I mean, in front of a battle, you know what I mean, do his little one two, give a little blog and, and things like that. And then, you know what I mean, it would get to the battles, and I forgot about that. We aren't privy to that anymore. <laughs> Smack is not doing no blogs. You'll hear a Beasley voice. <laughs> you'll hear you'll hear uh, 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 Jada Nightwing's voice or something like that. You're not going to hear Smack out here doing blogs anymore, which is you know what I mean. I, I thought that was dope. I thought that was really dope and and nostalgic even. You know what I mean. Um, uh, and at the beginning, he's introducing. Smack Madness, you feel me? Which has turned into Summer Madness, which is, uh, I mean, not Summer Madness, but uh, what's that thing called? Um, I guess like Ultimate Madness and things like that. Um, but Smack Madness was where he just put out a whole bunch of content, a whole bunch of stuff that was left in the vaults. You did what I'm saying? He's like, you know what? I'm finna get you out of this. Go ahead. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Boom, 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 boom. Here, here y'all go for the holidays. You did what I'm saying? Because March, we got volume two. You feel me? That's what, that's basically what it was. Uh, and then they had the J Black champion interview with Schmack. When's the last time you seen Schmack do like a sit down interview? Like, you know what I mean? Like an in depth sit down interview. Just crazy. Champion. <laughs> Shout out to J Black. Um, but the interview was basically about, you know, where did the face-offs go? You know what I mean? Like, where did they go? Like, we had, you know what I mean? Y'all remember the, the infamous face-off with uh, Dot and Bill Collector? Shout out to Bill Collector. That's my brother. But Dot was making you look crazy. You feel me? You come with no socks. You know what I mean? And and, and that was kind of lacking around this time, right? Um, and Jay Black was like, yo, where'd the face-offs go? Like, where are the face-offs? We need the face-offs for these. You did what I'm saying? Um... Which was crazy because after that, they kind of cut to a scene with Jay Black. And Jay Black announces the face-off being on champion. And then we had that whole run of uh, the face-offs being on champion, um, which was super dope. You know what I mean? People almost fighting. People, almost, you know what I mean? Pushing each other around stuff, getting knocked over and stuff. Like, you know what I mean? It was dope. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, 
it's just dope to see where battle rap is coming. Mm-hmm. Like when you think back of like where battle rap is coming, mm-hmm. where battle rap is going, like it's crazy. It's, it's like it's wild. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um, uh, getting into round one, Iron Solomon. He he shouts out his homeboy that's locked up. And the reason why I, I, I write this down right is because Solomon is like, yo, he stays. He's in a he's in a white town. Like, like, not like, not like white, like you wanted, he's, he wanted to say like, not white like me, but white, white, you feel me? <laughs> I thought that was hysterical, but shout out, shout out to Iron Solomon to have the awareness to be like, you know what, let me use this opportunity to help my friend out, um, regardless of what race he is, but, uh, to, but for it to, for it to be a person of color, you did what I'm saying to shout him out. Like, yo, we need to help him get out of his situation because he's down there. Like, he keeping it real. He's down there with some white folks. These white folks ain't like me. You know what I mean? These white folks is white, white people. Like they, you know what I mean? They in some hick town somewhere. You feel me? They ain't going to do us just as right. You feel me? And shout out to Iron Solomon for having that awareness. You feel me? Um, mm, getting into round one. He had the whole, this angle about, like, listen, you you battle Charlie Clips, you feel me? Charlie Clips didn't write nothing down, you did what I'm saying? But for for but for me, like, we both battled him, but for me, like, he came with all three rounds. He made his grandmother proud, you know what I mean? Got some of that good, that grandmother cooking, you did what I'm saying? Clips, you know what I mean? Um, that just means that he bring. You know I mean, the clips he brings um, to the round come come complete type of thing, uh, uh, which was fire. You did, um, and then he went into the iron low, the man cold bar fire. You did what I'm saying. He had the fake Jordan angle. This angle was so crazy. It was like it was like maybe like maybe like 12, 16 bars of just. Angles about this nigga's Jordan, son. Like, <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> he had to have angles about about the fake Jordan, son. This is crazy. Um, and then he notes itself, right? Or note to, you know what I mean? Note to you all, right? Um, or just write a, keep a mental note. Um, Nitty has on a uh, uh, blue jays, you know what I mean? Like the blue suede jays, you feel me? And Iron Solomon, he has on the same type of jays, but the classic pair in black, you know what I mean? Keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind, right? Isn't it sick enough? To, uh, he, you aren't, you aren't sick enough to influence the game. You know what I mean? He's talking about the Jordan shoes. You're not sick enough to influence the game. Uh, the flu influenza. Michael Jordan played in the game with the flu. Fire. You're not the real heir. Your soul showed us the truth. You fake. You're not the real heir. Your soul showed us the truth. You fake. Crazy, right? But here's where you get crazier, right? <clears throat> but those are actually new. He's pointing at his shoes. Those are actually new. I'm kind of matching you. He looking at his own shoes. Shit, I'm kind of matching you. You know what I mean? But mine are classic, so I'm winning in this fashion too. That's crazy. Remember, I told you he had on the blue joints. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, uh and, and Solomon had on the black classic joint. Fire. This is like a mid round free. You dig what I'm saying? Like he free in mid round. This is crazy. Um. And then he had the, the, and it gets crazier, right? The snatch your shoes, stomp out your, half your crew with one on each foot to leave them black and blue just for kicks. That's crazy. That's crazy. I ain't, who is you talking to like that? I ain't, that's crazy. You feel me? I told you he got on the blue kicks. I told you he got on the black kicks. You feel me? He says, snatch your shoes. Stomp out half your crew with one on each foot. Leave them black and blue just for kicks. Iron is different. Iron is different. Iron does this where does this thing, like where he starts off with like a, a subject and then he connects 
each subject and then the whole thing connects like it's crazy i don't know what to call that but it's wild you feel me um the special olympics the track and field stupid this is stupid in the long run <laughs> That was fire. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, the get and this go this ties with the the special uh the the um the special Olympics part, right? Uh, the get ignorant. Hold on, let me read this one more time so y'all could get the whole bar, right? Special Olympics, track and field, stupid in the long run. Get ignorant. A couple dum dums will leave your wig split. Unload even more on whoever knit with. Crazy. And then he said retarded after that. That's crazy. You <laughs> <laughs> The Special Olympics track and field stupid in the long run. Get ignorant. A couple dum dums will leave your wig split. Unload even more on whenever whoever knit with retarded. <laughs> <laughs> stupid ignorant uh dum dums um uh moron nitwit Retarded. That's crazy. That's fire, son. <laughs> That's fire. This schemes be wild, son. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, uh, shaving crisps with the sharpest knives. The razor dips in and out of blue like barbicide. What? Yo. Nah, he was talking to you crazy, Nitty. <laughs> he was talking to you crazy. <laughs> hey, hey, Solomon. I am. Who was you talking to like that? Oh my goodness, son. <laughs> oh man. Uh, the itis. If you eating good, you getting stuck. Fire. Leave you necklace for a rack like Mardi Gras. Fire. Uh, the DNA strands cut from a cloth of a G. He'll say he'll lick shots. His chrome is home because it's not in his genes. That's crazy. DNA strands cut from a cloth. He'll say helix. DNA helix. Helix, helix. Fire. Uh, his chromosome. His chrome is home. Chromosome in his genes. Fire. That's crazy. Um, and then he turns to jazz. <laughs> he turns to jazz the rapper you see up there <laughs> he turns to jazz and says i know you got the scheme right i said strand cut cloth and jeans unraveling each thread i got this bitch song that's why he seems stressed crazy <laughs> that's crazy iron solomon is wild say so his bar structure is crazy. Mm -hmm. His bar structure is super crazy. It's one like, like his last, like his last two or three bars or four bars ties in with the next four bars. Like it's crazy. And then his punch, like his punch, he may have a, like two or three punches in it, but then a haymaker at the end of that thing. Crazy. You feel me? Like super, super crazy. I think that's um I think that's like a different level. Like not a lot of people have that level, you know what I mean? Um there's a few out there, you know what I mean? The mooks, the hollows, you dig what I'm saying, iron even, you feel me? Um that's super, super fire, super dope attribute to have, you feel me? Um put this needle in knit, lace with a bow, leave them leave them in stitches. We will not tie. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. His schemes is crazy, right? He said, put this needle in and knit. So put this needle and knit. So he's knitting right now. Lace it with a bow. Leave him in stitches. We will not tie. Lace it with a bow. You not to tie. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Can't do um you can't outdo the Jewish guy when you went up against JC, you got crucified. Fire. That's a, that was a fire round from uh from from iron. You did what I'm saying. Um and you could tell that Smack really liked this round. You could just tell from his face. He like, oh we gotta we got <laughs> we got one, you feel me? Um bottom of round one, nitty goes, you feel me? Um and Nitty, Nitty is really every 
effing bar. You hear me? Like literally every effing bar. You feel me? Um, especially in the second and the third. Um, but in this first, every effing bar, right? Uh, pull something out the boot and cap in little iron. These monopoly pieces, fire. The gas chamber. Um, they're going to say, I smoked you in a small room. That's crazy. That's crazy. The gas chamber, they're going to say, I smoked you in a small room, smoked you in a small, <laughs> crazy. Um, pull out a blacksmith and let it bang on iron fire. The burying in a, the burying in a white, like monsters ball fire. Uh, the two off the chain in the field, like a keen to leap. <laughs> He was, yeah, he was going in. Your people be penny pinching. Mine's be nickel squeezing. What? <laughs> nah, he's an alien. Nah, he's a, he's a legit alien. I don't know what, like, listen, I don't know what, what Nitty be on when he be writing, you feel me? But he be, he be on another level, you feel me? I been jonesing to give, to give a jewels on cam. I really mean it. Flip goes crazy. Queen's flip goes crazy. This dude right here, he goes crazy. Ow, 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 I really mean it. <laughs> that was fire, though. I'm not going to lie. I've been jonesing to give a jewels on cam. I really mean it. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, I told my nigga I'm going to smoke you, and I'm going to. With a little 32 like Jones drew. Crazy. I tool kicks from the rear view. <laughs> the tool kicks from the rear view. Like infant Jordans. That this is where he starts to reach a little bit. You know, we all know Nitty. You know what I mean? He could reach a little bit. You know what I mean? The tool kick. The two kicks. Tool kick. Two kicks. You feel me? It, it, it sound the same, but it's, you know what I mean? Um, which is it's fire though. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, the way Nitty be, be manipulating words is crazy, right? Um, if I don't got a gun, I'll grab the fifth from my son like Jupiter. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's stuff like that where I'll be like, yeah, this thing is an alien. You feel me? That was crazy. You feel me? Tell my son, if he take it from Mars, then soon as you see this Jupiter, Mercury tip in him. That's crazy. That's crazy. Tell my son, if he take it from Mars, then as soon as you see this Jew, put a mercury tip in him. That's crazy. <laughs> and that ties in with the, uh, with the, uh, I'll grab my fifth from my son, like Jupiter. That's crazy. That's crazy. This nigga Nitty's wild. Like, I'm telling you, he's an alien. You feel me? Chris Reber pulled his time out and F the game up. He's reaching a little bit. He's still reaching. You feel me? Um, you going to train and then die. Oscar Grant, that was crazy. <laughs> I'm not the one you want to fade from. Sweeney Todd, crazy. A pair, uh, what do you say? A piece of air in mouth. Like Holyfield, a piece of air in mouth. A piece of air in mouth. Like Holyfield. It's a reach. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Trust me. I know. <laughs> All right. Man, before I, I'm not, I'm going to give y'all my, who I, my winner is at the, at the end of this thing. You feel me? So stay tuned. You did. Uh, top of the second round. Iron Solomon goes, right? And he said, you going to rap about iron this whole battle. Basically talking about his gun bars. You know what I mean? You going to rap about iron this whole battle. Relating his gun bars to him. Like you rapping about iron, but really you rapping about iron. Like. Crazy entendres, right? Um, you gonna rap about iron this whole battle, whether you kill, whether I kill you or not. If I, if you can't fit something else in the plot, you putting yourself in the box. That's crazy. That's crazy. You, you just speaking to him like an angle, like. All you got is gum bars. Like you gotta fit something else in there, big dog. If not, like. You killing everybody with the iron. Like, I ain't even got to kill you. You feel me? You going to kill yourself. You putting yourself in a box, my nigga. Like, <laughs> you low-key talking to you, bro. <laughs> he talking to you. <laughs> oh, man. You'll always be number two when your pencil's tested. 
battle battles like scantrons you fill up your round with lead to get accepted that's crazy that's crazy that's fire you'll always be number two when your pencils test it battles like scantrons fill your round up with lead to get accepted that's crazy that's crazy. Slow your pace. Give it a minute, man. You gonna blow the race. You sell a bit of tickets, but ain't fucking with the one, or but ain't fucking with what a pro creates. That's crazy. That's crazy. You tell him like, look, man, slow down, man. You ain't gotta, you know what I mean? You, you gonna you gonna blow it out real quick. You feel me? Slow down. You know what I mean? Uh, uh um. And you may sell a bit, you feel me? <laughs> but you're not fucking with the one that procreates, you feel me? Like <laughs> you not you get it, sell a bit, not fucking procreate. Fire. It's fire to me. I don't care. <laughs> a style they stole from QP or Khan. Ain't nothing new under the sun's bar. That was crazy. Uh the Av battle. You got paid to wear a LOM shirt. Ain't you fourth quarter homie block? Paid to rep a click and you was never with? That's literally money over loyalty. That was fire. That was a whole fire scheme. You know what I mean? Um, is you fourth quarter blood or crit? And then uh, throwing up the six, but you five four. And then he puts the big ass C in his face. <laughs> uh, but this scheme is crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. Is you fourth quarter blood or crip throwing up the six, but you five four? I'll send them to hell or angels if he don't take my advice, Lord. That's crazy. That's crazy. Fourth quarter blood or crip throwing up the six. Hell's angels, vice Lord. He had a whole gang scheme in there. <laughs> <laughs> so look, he put a he put a white gang in there too. He put <laughs> he put Hell's Angels in there. <laughs> hey, shout out to Sol uh, Solomon, say shout out to Iron, say you feel me? Um, first name Iron, but I'm good in any element. You really with the shits? Mortal is is my emodium. Fire, fire. The fourth quarter, uh, tied. I'm winning in overtime. The longevity bar, that's crazy. You feel me? Um, bottom of the second round, though. Rum Nitty goes. Um, Lennox and Belly, he kicked it off with a bar. Lennox and Belly knew I was knew how I was cut from the jump. That's crazy. Um, if I draw, you lose iron. We donate in plasma. Crazy. And this is every effing bar right here. I'm I'm like. I may have skipped a couple, but you know what I mean? Every effing bar right here. You feel me? If this drum clapped and hit his hi-hat and threw his temple, it'll be instrumental to your death. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Spine shot. A bullet, a bullet from behind it could fuck up your holiday. That's crazy. That's crazy. A bullet from behind it could fuck up your holiday. Crazy. And then he said it like three, four times because the crowd was reacting to it like every time. Like, not like like a new reaction. You feel me? Um, and then K Shine even reacted to it on the last time. He's like, oh, I got it. That's crazy. Like, <laughs> that was crazy. You feel me? Um, K Shine was K Shine was lit. I'm not gonna lie to you. K Shine was lit. <laughs> you could tell it on his face. He was through that. <laughs> you feel me? He was super through that. Uh, the thinking I was just finna die, they gassed you. And to be frank, this bitch better hide. Fire. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, if I need something in my house, I'm a running errands. I got bills to pay. Fire. You think these bars ain't finna beat you? It's crazy how they be calling niggas... What do you say? You think these bars is finna beat you? It's crazy how they be calling niggas legends when they just ordinary people. 
That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm not going to lie. Mm. Nitty's bar structure is crazy as well. Like, I know he, I know he writes under under the EFB uh type of type of uh construct, right? But it's crazy. It's crazy. I want to hear Nitty talk to a nigga in his EFB type of bar. Like that would be crazy. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I feel like that. I feel like he, he still got. Nitty, Nitty is an alien to me. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's why I'm lost for words because he's, it's amazing. You feel me? Um, I said let a fifty burst on MC Search. He looked like MC Search fifty burst fire. Um, y'all make me sick thinking Aaron can hang with the with the pen. He not a patriot. Fire. That was crazy. Fire. Aaron Hernandez went to jail. Pen. Patriot fire. Um, I only draw on face like composite sketches. Fire. I carry in real life like the Truman Show. Fire. <laughs> you dying on the car like a garbage pail kid. Fire. Your squad get robbed too. I arrow Smiths. Take whatever iron made and rock groups. Fire. Your squad getting robbed too. Our arrow smiths take whatever iron made in rock groups. That's crazy. That's crazy. Give Aaron the shot like I missed the rim. Aaron the shot like I missed the rim. Fire. <laughs> Think it's a game two will sit him down. Like the documentary. You remember on the, the game, the documentary, the album, he was sitting down on the two rims. Fire. Um, Check how I snap on the card. EBT balance. Crazy. You feel me? And, um, that round was actually crazy. You feel me? Um, I was about to give y'all who I got in that round. And I was about to mess up. You did what I'm saying? We gonna save it for the end. Ah, you thought you got me. You thought you did, but you didn't. <laughs> Top of the third round. Iron Solomon goes. You feel me? He had the free surf. Free Sue Surf, you feel me? Uh, once again, we in another battle where Sue Surf is locked up, right? <laughs> um, free Sue Surf. If he's the reach guy, then Rum is reaches Christ. <laughs> that was hilarious. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, the biting off of Cake Life, Steam's and Chess Angle was fire. Um, the little paper on the back end. You getting little paper on the back end. That's a temporary plate. Fire. The little paper on the back of your car is a temporary play. <laughs> That's fire. Um, at the bank, talking withdrawals without the southern accent. That's crazy. You feel me? Um, wouldn't recognize smack. You wouldn't even recognize smack without a beer. You feel me? Uh, they pay you less than bottom tier. Nitty, you a volunteer. Crazy. You feel me? Um, you get beat steady like a metronome did it. Uh, first he get the bow, Riddick, lashes on your cheek, ain't from Eskimo kisses, fire, <laughs> fire, that was crazy, um, I, I can make this a 3 and over one hand, or to prove to them, or to prove a point to them, I can make this a 3 and over one hand, to prove a point to them, point to them, 3 oh one one hand, that's crazy, what? Peaky in the air while I sip scotch. Middle finger through all your rounds. Nothing in you in this ring pops. Piece it all together. Type of lines like that created smack. And everybody goes crazy. Smack go crazy. Jazz go crazy. Uh, uh, Flip go crazy. Uh, Cortez go crazy. Everybody go crazy. You feel me? This was a <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. And he, and he had it like to prove a point to them, make this a 3 0 clear. And he did it so smooth. Like, you know, what I mean, he didn't even point to the ground. I'm doing that for y'all. Like, <laughs> he's a 3 0. You know, what I mean, crazy pinky in the air while I sip scotch, middle finger. Uh, through your rounds, nothing in this ring pops. Piece that all together. That's the type of lines that create a smack. That's crazy. 
He said, piece together and run it back. Lines like, uh, the type of lines like that created smack. That's crazy. Um, and then he he go into another another joint. He, so glue Joe Mike and none none can play they new roles. I was the first white to watch. I made this huge blow. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> what? First white to watch. First white watch, Hugh Blow, this Hugh Blow, he's a white rapper, he first white to watch, he made that Hugh Blow, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> oh, snap. I knew Smack and Bees before I knew what YouTube was. I can even explain in detail what Nunu does. You feel me? <laughs> Fire. I believe it was the, um, was it the prep? Was it Prepper Mr. Wavy? Yeah, yeah. Who was the manager for um Nunu was the manager for Prep or Mr. Wavy? One of them, right? I want to say Prep, right? Or was it Mr. Wavy? Either way, John John the Don was like, yo. She's your manager. We don't like. We don't even know what she do for smack. Like, how is she your manager? And Iron Solomon was like, "Yo, I can even explain in detail what Nunu does." Like, nigga, <laughs> fire, fire round. Um, and then you know what I mean. Uh, Iron, I'm gonna be real with you, Iron. You said you know what I mean. Mook gave. After Mook gave me the box, the niggas was like, pause. <laughs> Hold up, pause. Mook gave you what? <laughs> Iron was like, watch your mouth. <laughs> Why he's rapping, he says, watch your mouth. <laughs> and then he was like, yo, nah, nigga, watch your mouth, nigga. <laughs> your pause ass. <laughs> I thought that was hysterical, man. I thought that was funny as hell. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but for the um, the even explain in detail what Nunu does, the crowd starts to chant. You feel me? We wanna know. We wanna know. <laughs> we wanna know. I still like listen. I still don't know. But you know what I'm saying. If I if I don't know by now, then chances are I ain't gonna know. You feel me? Let's. Get into it. You feel me? Bottom of the third round. Rum Nitty goes. This is more of that EFB type of talk, type of language. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Y'all hear me talking about crypt this, crypt that. Begging on every line like a telemarketer. Fire. Um, Somebody somebody else crypt shit in the crowd, right? And just in case I throws up the beat, just in case I was wilding the whole battle, say. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all gotta watch this. Uh, y'all gotta watch this battle. So there's so many little trinkets in this battle. So Danny Myers is off to the right. He's just standing there. He little faded. He's just throwing up West Coast every bar. <laughs> yeah, you gotta y'all gotta watch this battle. So this is funny. It's a like in the background. It's funny, but this is a classic battle though. Watch it because it's a classic, and then go back and watch it because of the trinkets, right? Um, what do you say? You're going to have to try angles together. Star of David, two desert eagles, one up, one down. Look like a six point fire. That's crazy. People didn't kiss the two up, a uh, two, uh, uh, desert eagle, one up, one down. Look like a six point. He tied that in, uh, with the triangles. Uh, the you're going to have to try angles together. The star of David, the triangles together is a star. Y'all know what the what the six point star is. This is the uh the star of David, right? Two, one up, one uh two desert eagles, one up, one down, look like a six point. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm not gonna lie, that's fire. Cause the star of David is a six point star. And y'all get it, man. That's fire. But they didn't they didn't pick it up right in the in the in the building at all. Um good chance he gonna die. What I got for iron in the jeans, it increases it. That's crazy. Iron on the jeans increases it. Fire. How long you going to tell that? How long you going to talk that rumble? Michael Buffer. Fire. Um, 
and fire the iron on iron like I'm welding something. Fire. <laughs> if I catch your white face in the hood, you'll see about 36 chambers. Shout out to Ghostface. That's crazy. You feel me? Um, I let it go. Caught the iron in the face. Home Alone track. He said, I let it go. He caught the iron in the face. What did he say? I let it go and caught iron in the face. Home Alone trap. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, you can rap about how you lift your piece. It's not enough iron. They'll find your body with the fish and seas. That's crazy. What? I told you Nitty is from another planet. He's from another planet. That's crazy. Say <laughs> You can rap about, I'm going to read it again. You can rap about how you lift the piece. It's not enough iron. They'll find your body with the fish and seas. That's crazy. Not enough iron. Find your body with, with deficiencies, with the fish and seas. That's crazy. Not enough iron. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to the next part. That's crazy. Um, said he had the cow out wilding. Lying about how he let it fly. The Bow Wow Challenge. Fire. If y'all don't remember the Bow Wow Challenge, Bow Wow was faking like he was in first class. He was in coach. He was just chilling. Or like he was on a private plane, but he was just chilling on a regular plane. In coach at that, you feel me? Um, the Bow Wow Challenge, you feel me? Uh, it has sparked the whole thing that he was doing. That was, that was crazy in itself. Uh, watching the iron getting smoked against the animal. I'm cannibal. I'm, I'm cattle branding. That's crazy. Watch it, I ain't getting smoked against an animal. I'm cattle branding. That's crazy. Y'all watching iron getting smoked against the animal. Y'all know what I'm doing. Cattle branding. <laughs> the weapon will dump. Put seven to one. They'll try to give you dogs years. That's crazy. The weapon to dump, put seven and one, then they try to give you dogs years. That's crazy, because seven to one is dogs. Y'all know what it is, man. Fire. Um, claw game. Uh, Y'all know the claw game machine, right? Keep playing with the quarter until it's a body on the grip. Fire. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> what the hell, son? Who are you talking to like that? Yo, son. Your vital lines would go from Mr. Wavy to Av slogan. I don't play like that. It was looking like a VA. Now it's straight like that. That's crazy. <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> nah, son. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing, son? <laughs> oh, snap, son. We reading that again. Your vital signs will go from Mr. Wavy... To Av slogan, I don't play like that. It was looking like a VA, and now it's straight like that. That's crazy. You feel me? That's crazy. After this battle, Schmack instantly knew this was a classic. You hear me? As I said in the beginning, Schmack was like, as soon as as soon as they go apart and he finishes, you know what I mean? Suicide. I'll do the job and kill yourself. You know what I mean? Schmack come in there. You know what I mean? That's how you know it's a crazy battle. When Schmack come in there doing it, you know what I mean? Holding up the fingers and stuff like that. <laughs> That's how you know the battle is wildly retarded. You feel me? <laughs> oh, who I got winning, though. Who I got winning, though. You feel me? Look, I watched this battle like four or five times, right? I watched it... Um, once and I ripped down the bars really, really quick. I watched it again and I just en enjoyed it um, to kind of like pick who I, who I had winning. Uh, and then I watched it again and I had somebody else winning. And then I watched it one more time as I'm writing down the highlights and the notes. You did what I'm saying? And, I'm, and I, I have a winner. You did what I'm saying? Uh, the first round, in my opinion, was super, super, super close. You did. It was super close in my opinion. I even wrote that on the paper. However, I got Iron taking that first round. I just felt like Iron was talking to, to him a lot more. Uh, the entendres, the metaphors, the schemes were super, super retardedly crazy. You feel me? Um, 
super crazy, you dig? Uh, and that's not to take away from Nitty's round because, like I said, this is a, a crazy uh, first round. It's a super close round from both of them, you feel me? Uh, and it was that EFB type of thing. But some of them bars that first round kind of fell a little flat. Uh, uh, and... and, and uh, I don't want to say they weren't as creative, but uh, compared to your your other bars in this round for for uh, Iron Solomon, it, it wasn't it wasn't to that standard. You feel me? Um, and so I gave Iron Solomon the first round. Um, the second round, the second round is crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you, Nitty. Your second round was crazy from start to finish. Crazy, retardedly, stupid, dumb, right? I got Nitty taking the second round off rip. I just felt like it was more the same from Iron, um, which is a good thing, right? Because it is more of those entendres. It's more of those uh, those metaphors, those multis and things like that, right? Um, uh, and, and it's... But sometimes it can be a little, I don't know, like long and drawn out, right? But I'm only nitpicking at this point, right? I'm, I'm just picking at this point because I got to call a winner, right? Um, even and that, that, to me, is the ultimate factor in this. Rum Nitty was punching almost every bar. Every bar was, almost every bar was a haymaker, right? Whereas... Almost every scheme was a haymaker for you. Almost every metaphor was a haymaker for you. Almost every uh, entendre was a haymaker for you. But it kind of took you a little bit longer to get there. Instead of every bar being a haymaker, you had every scheme being a haymaker. Every, you know what I mean? Like, it takes a little bit more to draw out a scheme. It takes a little bit more uh, to, to draw out a metaphor, uh, uh, an entendre and things, right? Uh, whereas a bar is right there. Boom! You feel me? Bing, boom, you feel me? Bing, boom, you feel me? And that's how that's how Nitty was uh, doing in the second round, man. And psh, I got to give it to Nitty, you feel me? Um, round two. Round two was a super close round as well. I even wrote super close um, by the decision, you feel me? Super, super close. I felt like... Solomon, he started punching a little bit more, a little bit more frequently in this third round. You dig what I'm saying? He started started let them punches fly a little bit. You dig what I'm saying? No shoulder roll. He was just out there. Bing, 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 bing. You feel me? Uh, but Nitty. Nitty's third round, man. Look. I got maybe one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 of them things down for him. You feel me? Like, that's a crazy type of thing to have. You feel me? Especially on my paper, because I only write down the fire stuff. You feel me? Like, the what I think is fire. You feel me? Um, and it was almost his whole round. That's what I'm saying. Like, it was crazy. I got, I got Nitty taking this battle. 2-1. Very, very close. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, in my opinion, I got I got um, Solomon taking the first round in a close round, right? Because Nitty was cooking. Nitty was sparking that first round, right? But Iron, he just had he just had a, enough, you dig? Uh, that second round, more spark from from Nitty, but rapid spark, you feel me? Um, and 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 Iron, he, like I said, he was kind of drawing out the metaphor. So I got Nitty taking the, the second um, the second and the third because of that aspect. You dig what I'm saying? Um, however, all three of them rounds is crazy, retardedly close. Like, I'm I'm not going to be mad if you got, um, if you got uh, um, Solomon in the first and third. If you got Nitty the second and third. If you got Nitty the first and third, you feel me? Um if you got if you got Solomon the the second and third like I'm not gonna be mad at that you feel me but ultimately what did it for me is that second and third from Nitty I feel like he did enough to 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 champion the win you feel me to to gain the victory you did what I'm saying um and that's just my opinion you feel me <laughs> Solomon don't be shooting at me bro. <laughs>
<laughs> I was just playing. This was a dope, uh, dope display of talents for the world to see. I am uh, super honored to be able to go back and play this battle. You did what I'm saying? To listen for this for three, four uh, days in a row. I'm super honored to do that. You feel me? Um, we need more like this. Smack, drop them battles on YouTube, son. I don't know what you do it. I get it. You want us to buy the app? I get it. But drop them things on YouTube, please, so we can go back and do this. You feel me? This was fire. This was crazy. You feel me? Almost a million views on, on YouTube. Y'all go run it up. Y'all make sure y'all go over there and, and watch this battle two, three, four times. Y'all come back here and y'all tell me who y'all had winning. You did what I'm saying. Y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This what? Hold up. I'm tripping. <laughs> this is Smoke Sundays. All day today, we got content flying out. You did what I'm saying. Uh, so get, you see this face? Get used to it. You feel me? We here. We ain't going nowhere. You did what I'm saying. Shout out to Get Your Bars Up Media for letting me do this segment. The OG Pack episode three is in the books. You did what I'm saying. Iron Solomon versus Rum Nitty. You dig. Y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You dig. Salute for those that deserve it. You feel me? And as always, man, I love y'all, King. Lifestyle of the rich and famous Some die with the name, some die nameless Give me that nigga in the coupe looking brainless Shout out to the plug cause the rollie looking stainless Lifestyle of the rich and famous Some die with the name, some die nameless